Hi, my name is Raj and uh, I'm uh, talking to you about an, an uh, inspiring story from Nepal, in far west Nepal, where uh, the Kailali Chamber of Commerce and Industry uh, raised, did some microfunding for the development of tourism in the far west of Nepal. The far west was ravaged by uh, the Maoist movement for several, uh, for about a decade and uh, tourism, though it has a huge potential of tourism, it didn't get much of a chance to go ahead. But uh, the industrialists, they got together and uh, decided that uh, they need to do something about it. So they raised funds from, uh, little funds from industries like uh, notebooks, you know, they gave 25p uh, for a notebook to uh, salaried workers giving 10 rupees a month to uh, water, uh, people who were selling water giving money for each bottle of water that was sold. And all of that got together to uh, raise over a million rupees uh, initially and then they decided to do some uh, uh, corporate tax and uh, some trade fairs to raise even more money and reached a quantity of uh, 4 million rupees for which with which they spent um, uh, hiring some photographers and taking photographs of all the different sites in the district and producing 26 different posters and postcards and three uh, coffee table books and they made posters and put on top of uh, the buses so that people could get a better uh, understanding of what was available in the far west which is one of the first best initiatives they did. And then uh, they also had a problem with the airport, that the airport was not blacktop. And then they went back to the microfunding campaign, pulled out money from the public, from rickshaw drivers, everybody, and uh, raised up to six million rupees and uh, got the airport blacktop. Today, the, uh, the airport in Kailali is the second largest in uh, Nepal and soon to get uh, into an international status. So this is what uh, little, little efforts from the private sector can really do in a, in a, in a remote setting. And the Kailali Chamber of Commerce and Industry have really proved it.